How's it going everybody? My name is Eric and today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the new DJI Mavic Air. So let's get to it. This way. Boom. Look at this. The Mavic Air Fly More Combo. So that's what I got. Flame Red. I got the Flame Red Edition. Check this out. This is kind of mind blowing. Um, if I'm correct, the drone is actually in this little pouch. So let's uh, let's see if it is. Look how tiny this thing is. This is an iPhone 8 Plus, and this is the DJI Mavic Air. It's basically the size of an iPhone 8 Plus. Fully unfolded, this thing is still, you know, it's the size of my head. We got the camera right here on the front. Yeah, there you go. So shoots 1080p, 4K, 120 frames per second at 1080p. I'm not sure about 4K. That cover, I had heard some people kind of complain about the cover, but honestly, this is super easy. It just slides on and then clips down. So um, I'm not sure why that was an issue for them, but I find that to be um, actually super easy. We got propeller guards, all the manuals and stuff. Now this is, Basically, I guess what the fly the fly more combo got me this little extra carrying case um, Which is actually really nice. I I like the size of it. We have okay, so we have the remote here Looks like these just slide out and then my phone would just plug in all right, and then these would come out and oh just realized the thumb sticks there's a little spot for them right here. Grab them, boom. They screw on just like that. That feels really good. That kind of just feels like a, a video game controller. Um, actually kind of feels like the Nintendo Switch almost. Two more little thumb sticks. There's other cords for other phones, but since I have an iPhone, um, I don't need those. I'm not sure what the USB-C is for, but there you go, USB-C cable. I'm not totally sure what this is for. It's some kind of adapter, charging cable, the power brick, two extra batteries. This is a charging station. I sh I'll be able to charge all three of my batteries at the same time. All right, so that's everything that they that is in the Fly More combo. I'm gonna go ahead and get familiar with what I'm gonna have to do to set it up uh, while those batteries are charging and we'll come back ready to go. Apparently the charging deck charges one at a time. You can put up to four on it, but it only charges at one at a time. So um, I waited for two to charge. Hopefully that's enough time for me to get some decent footage, but I'm gonna pack things up and then there's a park across the street from where I am right now. And I think that's where I'm gonna go and test it out. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's go see what this thing can do. Ooh, look at that sun. That is exactly what I am looking for. So this is actually a dog park, but I think it'll work. The sun is really nice right now. It's getting that golden hour. I'm gonna set up and uh, let's get this thing going. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. So I have the manual here because I'm not exactly sure how to get it started. So hopefully this helps. So, gotta go through, accept, all right, start. You press the power button and then press and hold it to turn it on, there we go. It's on. This is taking a whole lot more than I thought. Connection successful. The sun's starting to go down some, we gotta get this guy going. Let me just say this, I know most people I've talked to have had a lot of trouble right at first getting them, getting their drone set up in the past. 
and I was kind of hoping that they had finally gone past this. I've literally been sitting here for almost an hour trying to get this thing to work. It's six o'clock. I've been sitting here for another 10 minutes or so. Firmware still says 51%. I'm just gonna pack up and uh, go back inside. But I think tomorrow morning, I'm gonna get up early, uh, get some footage of sunrise. Yeah, I mean, this happens and is totally my bad for not realizing what all I needed to do before flying it um, and just not being more aware of the situation and what it would take to actually get this thing going. So. All right, it's the next morning and I am outside. It's starting to get light. Um, sun isn't quite coming up yet, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this time to get things set up. Hopefully everything works great this morning. Let me just say this. DJI, you really need to fix your firmware issues because I did everything last night and now it's still saying that it needs updating. Um, all right, it says everything's done. Let's do this. It's working. Check that guy out. Uh, let's see what kind of footage we can get. All right, so I currently, I currently have the drone. It says at about 400 feet. I can barely see it way up there. Uh, this is, it's, it honestly flies so well. It flies so well. I'm so excited about this. But I'm just kind of testing out all the features and uh, we're gonna see what, uh, how everything works. So the next thing I tested out was the quick shots mode, which allows you to do a bunch of different automated shots that the drone just takes control and does it on its own. So the first one I did is called Droney, and I mean it basically just lifts back. It's kind of like being able to do this giant um, flyaway selfie. And the second one is circle. It does just what it sounds like. It basically just circles around you. Then there's the helix and it does this giant spiral. Um, kind of kind of like the circle, except for instead of staying at the, staying at the same distance, it spirals out around. Um, and I had to stop it part way so it didn't hit a tree. So you'll definitely want to make sure it's not going to be um, running into stuff when you do it. And then there is the rocket, which starts in front of you and then just rock it straight up while keeping the camera pan towards you. Uh, the boomerang goes out around you but it does this big boomerang loop and it's really cool. With the asteroid, that's basically what the drone does. It goes up, takes a bunch of shots, and then it creates this cool little cinematic video of pulling away and, and the horizon turning into this globe. So that's a lot of fun as well. Oh no. 
It also has what's called tracking mode. It's super handy if you ever plan on doing activities and you don't want to be holding the remote or, or trying to mess with the remote while maybe running or longboarding or whatever it is. So tracking mode actually tracks you or whoever you're trying to track and follows them. And you can select it to follow from different angles, from the side, behind, front, whatever. Set it up and then it'll follow them at their speed as long as they're obviously not going too fast. Um, so I tried that out as well. And the one thing I'd say about tracking mode is that it's really easy to accidentally cancel it by just hitting the screen anywhere. So that's something you, you need to be aware of. I've tried, I think, just about every single feature the thing has besides a couple that just don't, don't make sense to try here. I've tried all the quick shot features. Um, they'll be up on Instagram as well as, I'll, I'll put them in this video. Um, but I just overall got to say it's super easy to fly. It's um, so easy to use and all the features work so well. And I think, um, you know, I haven't seen what the finished product's gonna look like, but I'm really excited because uh, just, even just the way it looked on the phone was amazing. Um, so, I'm, I mean, I'm super happy with, the, with how everything works. So besides the firmware issues, I think it's, you know, uh, an ace product. But just as an overall kind of conclusion to this video, I have to say, this is honestly an amazing piece of technology and equipment. And I think one of my, probably my favorite thing about it is just how small it is. And yeah, you're not gonna get quite as good quality as you do with the Mavic Pro or the Phantom 4, but the, the difference in quality is not that much and the portability and usability of it is so much higher. If I don't carry stuff around with me, I don't use it. This is small enough that I can legitimately justify carrying it with me everywhere I go and not have to be stressed about um, using up a ton of space and whether it's worth it or not. All this drone footage that I got, there's no color correction, there's no anything done to it. I just plugged it into the video. I wanted you to see what it looks like uh, just raw and I think it's I think it turned out amazing and I, I think that's one of the really cool things about this drone is because of how small it is and easy it is to use but how high quality the image is I would definitely recommend it to anybody that's interested in getting a drone unless you're wanting to get into professional like legitimately professional quality filmmaking there's no reason to get anything other than the DJI Mavic Air. It's a fantastic piece of equipment. So I think that's all for this video. I had a lot of fun messing around with this thing even though the firmware was a pain in the butt and uh, that's the one thing I would say just expect to struggle with getting everything set up and it, it might take a few hours the first time but once you have it set up I haven't had any troubles with it since. Uh, granted I've only flown it a couple times since but and it's just that initial setup process is really stressful uh, or just really difficult. So as long as you're um, expecting that, I don't think there's going to be any surprises. And um, I had a lot of fun making this and I can't wait to use it in more videos. Peace out. See you guys later.